Hello everyone and welcome to the program. On the program tonight, Senator Bill Bakuma Degi Aremio, running mate to the Biosa State Governorship candidate David Lyon says he did not forge any certificate. He says he will seek redress at the Supreme Court. We dissect that issue tonight on the on the program. And Minister of Information Lai Mohammed says President Muhammad Buhari will not resign over the insecurity situation in the country. That's the lineup of the program tonight. Hello, welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Joaquim Balloy. Let's begin by telling you about what the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, has said. He said he's, he's insisting that President Muhammad Buhari will not resign over the insecurity situation in the country. He was addressing a news conference in Abuja. Alaji Lai Mohammed says that the government will not go back on its plans to regulate the social media Though he admits that the nation is currently going through security challenges, he is promising that the challenges are being tackled. The country is facing security challenges, and challenges are being tackled headlong. However, there have been some red hearings in recent times, including those calling for the resignation of Mr. President. I want to advise all commentators, especially political and religious leaders, to be very careful at this time not to aggravate the situation with incendiary comments, comments that cast on our religious, ethnic, and political fault lines to further divide the country. The kind of comments that have been attributed to some leaders recently, especially religious leaders, are incendiary and reckless. Leaders should be part of solutions to problems rather than aggravating situations. To those asking the president to resign, I hope to say this very clearly. Mr. President will not resign. He has the overwhelming mandate of Nigerians to preside over the affairs of the country, the expiration of his tenure in, on 29th of May 2023. You heard it. President Buhari will not resign for those who are asking for his resignation as a standpoint of the government of the day. But let's check out some other political stories we're following for you on our political roundup. President Mohamed Buhari has met with two governors at the presidential villa today. The president had audience with the governor of Imo State, Hope Uzadima, and afterwards that of Ogun State, Dapa Biodun. We will be turning the sword on the Ijebu Ode to a quay road. It's a belief that when that road is completed, people coming from the east, coming from Undo, coming from Ijebu, coming from Ibadan would have an option. They don't have to go to Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The African Democratic Congress has condemned the Independent National Electoral Commission's decision to deregister political parties. ADC believes that INEC should have had a dialogue with the Interparty Advisory Committee before embarking on the deregistration process. This position was stated by the chairman of the party, who also condemned the security situation in the country. Cataloging or counting the failures of the government, the security challenges in the land now seem irrelevant because the government has no idea what to do. The African Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development says the lack of strategic leadership as well as the inability of political leaders to connect with the people are some of the reasons for leadership failure in Nigeria. This is the shared view of several resource persons who spoke at the roundtable on Nigeria and its challenges of leadership strategy in Abuja. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Ogun State, has presented a check and insurance cover to the family of the police corporal killed during the February 23rd presidential and national assembly elections in that state. Presenting the check on behalf of the chairman of the commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, the state resident electoral commission has said the gesture is to alleviate the suffering of the family after the demise of their breadwinner on active service. Corporal Sunday Doko was reportedly killed during the movement of election result at Eredo Yewa South Local Government Area, Ogun West and the Terra District of the state.
some news breaking and just coming in tonight on channel's television we can tell you that the all progressives congress apc has approached the supreme court to review asking for the review of the judgment on the bielsa state governorship election we can tell you that the APC had filed a motion for the review of the Supreme Court verdict on Bielsa governorship election, which sacked Mr. David Lyon as the government elect of that state. Afterwards, uh, affirming or uh, saying that uh, Senator Duya Deary was the governor of Bielsa state. Well, earlier today, Senator Bill Bakuruma, Degi Eremienyo, the All Progressive Congress Separate Governor elect of uh, Bielsa State whose election was nullified by the Supreme Court has announced plans to approach the court for a review. Addressing a news conference in Abuja, Senator Degi Eremienyo insists that the Apex Court never gave him an opportunity to defend his educational qualifications before concluding that they were forged. The event of my disqualification is distressing and traumatized to me personally. And of course, a greater trauma inflicted on my party, the governorship candidates, and the good people of Bielsa State, who signified their voice, sorry, their choice of who should be their governor and deputy governor. It is this unsolicited assault on my personality and reputation by the judgment in question that has constrained me to chart this cause of action. Let me start by saying that I condemn in strong terms all forms of forgery, impersonation, or criminality that's uh, the running mate to Mr. David Lyon saying he did not forge any uh, certificate and is not uh, uh, someone who will do that. But, well, we can tell you that the APC says that he's going to contest that judgment and has approached the Supreme Court with an application urging the court to reverse its, its, its decision. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. This decision disqualifying its candidate in the last governorship election in Bielsa State, Mr. David Lyon. The APC, in an application filed by his team of lawyers led by Chief Wole Olani Pekun with Prince Latif Agwemi, also wants the Supreme Court to set aside a wrong interpretation given to the judgment of February 13, 2020, and a subsequent execution by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Let's discuss this and the implication. I have two lawyers joining me from our Abuja studio, Mr. Anthony Ehilabo and Mr. Kaode Ajulo. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on tonight on the program. Mr. Ajulo, did you see this uh, approach by the APC? Did you see the application they filed today coming? Well, I did, from the from the who's and cries from the chairman, we have been expecting that, that certainly the chairman is, uh, is, is, is planning to do such a thing. But I do ask one question. Whatever may be the decision of the, of the Supreme Court, whatever may be the process that may be taken, it has to follow the rule of law. I know there is always the reason for you to ask for a review of the Supreme Court judgment. It is well stated and it is, and it is, it is well known to all lawyers. But this scenario, I don't think there's any need for any review. And I need to say this, even that if there should be any review, the review I believe the Supreme Court we give will be against the APC in the sense that the Supreme Court even ought to ask them to pay a fine of 500,000 naira, which has not been able to do. Maybe that is the reason, maybe that is what they need, maybe it is a penalty they need to get. But apart from that, I don't see any reason because the question is this. What we need to ask ourselves is this. What is even the basis of this decision of the Supreme Court. Not that the Supreme Court just cho choose to, to give a decision. This it is more or less an affirmation of what the trial court, that is the Federal High Court, headed uh, by Justice Eko, what he did by looking at this at, at the submission of counsel, by looking at the evidence before placed before the court and give a considered judgment to say that there is the issue of forgery, there is the issue of somebody not qualified. And that is the deputy governor. And yes, this matter went to the Court of Appeal, and we all, we, 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 we all were aware of what happened in the Court of Appeal, particularly since the 
election is maybe about two or three days before it, to, to, to that time, the court of appeal, in his wisdom, asks that, oh, let the, let the whole thing continue. But in the Supreme Court, having looked at the judgment to say that actually that judgment is affirmation of that judgment. For, 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 for us now to see the castigation of those pa the panelists in the Supreme Court to be castigated, to be called names, to be to, 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 such, to such extent, is something that it has never, it has never happened. And I'm afraid. But, but, but this is this not uh, the first one, uh, Mr. Ajilor, this is not the first judgment that politicians were asking for review. In San Farah, they are asking for review. In Imo State, they are asking for a review. So, why do you think the case of Biasa is different? The, the case of Biasa, why I said it's different is that by the time you looked at the Biasa very well, Supreme Court did not even make any 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 any, any decision or any judgment than affirming what the court, what the what the Federal High Court in Abuja what is decision and it's as narrow and it's as simple it is a it is a very simple interpretation of this section of the constitution that shows that section 1887 and section 188 and the section 31 5 and, and subsection 6 subsection 6 of the electoral act and all this sex provision is written literally that should be given literally literary interpretation and it is well known that when it comes to interpretation of constitutional provision literary meaning particularly when there is no ambiguity should be given and that is exactly what the what the, what the supreme court did not that they were now looking for more one ritual to justify what they have done what they have done is so simple it's a plain language that should be done and that's why i said if anybody is asking for review it's only to ask for review that the apc should be asked to pay the all right the, the cost let, let's get mr uh, uh, uh view on this one uh, as a lawyer, is it outside of the, uh, 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 the rights of, of anyone who is aggrieved? Uh, though uh, 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 people know that uh, uh, the Supreme Court's judgment is final, but there is a window for a review like this. Is it out of line what the APC has said they want to do today? Well, I, I, I agree with um, my learned colleague here and his points. And he put them so, so succinctly. But what we must ask is, what are the grounds and what condition will the Supreme Court review a matter? Have, is there any, anything that has to do with the substance of the case that has to do with fraud or that the Supreme Court was misled into taking the decision it took? I, I don't think anywhere around that matter we have seen any... And that's, I don't even, even read... Even listening to the ill-fated deputy governor, who is still in the Senate, by the way, who is still in the Senate with these same uh, uh, certificates. I, you know, my brother here went as far as saying that he still owes the courts the fine of 500000 that is stipulated under the Electoral Act when you submit such uh, documentation to INEC and it is found to be wanted. But let's go beyond that and even ask, now, you know that you have so blatantly uh, been found out and the judgment has been given against you by the Supreme Court. You still want to further aggravate the situation by asking for a review and making it sound like it's now the right course of action. The Supreme Court is a, final, is a court of final instance, except where it is glaring. And there's a distinction. Because the Imo case has been uh, mentioned, at the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is assist of the matter, so it may be subjudice to go into the substance All of right. the Imo Mr. case and the Mr. difference Mr. between Mr. what has happened in Bayelsa and what is in Imo. Apologies, let me pause. Uh, let me well, let's take a pause for a moment and let's take this uh, break. Uh, but when we come back, we'll talk more uh, about the uh, the meat of what the APC is asking, the application that the APC has filed at the Supreme Court today over the Bayelsa governorship election judgment. We'll look at that in details when we come back from this break, everyone. Join us again. Thank you so much, everyone. The story just in that we're following for you. That the All Progressives Congress APC has approached the Supreme Court filing an application for a review of the bias governorship election judgment over what uh, they describe as uh, the lack of the court's fair hearing when it proceeded to disqualify its governorship candidate, even though. They believe that the further high court in the judgment by Justice in Yang Equa, which the Apex Court affirmed, refused the plaintiff's prayer to disqualify Lyon.
My guest tonight on in our Abuja studio, Mr. Carl Diagula, a lawyer, and Mr. Anthony Hailebo, the two of them have been weighing in. Interestingly, they are agreeing on these two issues. Uh, let's get back to the conversation, uh, gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Hailebo, uh, I mean, it does look now that every Supreme Court judgment is being uh, critically scrutinized by politicians, and they are asking now for review. Uh, what does this mean or portend for our democracy? Well, uh, it's, it's interesting that um, some cases that are not within the scope of what uh, or Rule 8 or the, uh, 6 of the Supreme Court rule says and provides so that you, for, for such reviews. Um, however, what we must take is the, that politicians are watching. Politicians are looking at the loopholes left by the laws that are not being plugged uh, by the Supreme Court right now. Um, that's not to say that in any stretch, and you will find if you have five, six lawyers, they will obviously tow towards the same direction as by these rulings and, and how it was called. But Elsa, um, we do have a strong feeling that that was one case the Supreme Court got right, if you ask most lawyers. I mean, and I, that's a cross board. The, the chats and conversations I've had with other lawyers is that the, the Bielsa case was one that just upheld a ruling that was beautiful. Because if you read the ju judgment of Justice Eko, she was very clear that she can't find an iota that convinces her that this man is the same person in five different, with five different names, five different uh, uh, variations of his name. And you can't deride that. But what happens is that we've seen that there's a particular judgment. Like I said, I'm not really um, keen to delve into the emo uh, argument. If not, I would have advised that that judgment in itself has set a precedence that anybody can go on the streets, get, it, get any result. It doesn't matter if that result looks like an next result. It doesn't matter where the result comes from. And tender it as a result. And if you ask him, he will quote in Edio versus this uh, Edio uh, uh, matter. This other case as a case law, and it will be binding on the lower courts. So um, at this junction, it will, be, it will be wise if we retrospect. Our lawmakers must also look at these judgments that are emanating from all these um, issues we have, the governorship um, cases we've had, and look at the loopholes that they need to, as a matter of urgency, before you amend the Electoral Act, or even go further by amending the Constitution, to check this. Um, leakages or wherever it is that it seems like our constitution or our laws in totality have a, a lacuna in solving our current issues. Uh, we we want a situation where judgment that is given is given with sound reasoning and logic that you can, as even a, any layman, understand the rationale behind that judgment. Don't forget that one of the prisms of of the judiciary and justice is that justice must be seen to be done in any matter that is, the courts uh, are assisted of, that Mr. is within Hilabal. the jurisdiction of the court to make pronouncements. Mr. Hilabal, let me allow Mr. Ajulot to come in here. Mr. Ajulot, uh, the, the APC has argued that the Supreme Court acted without jurisdiction and denied each party fair hearing. The, also, the party has also faulted the interpretation given to the Supreme Court judgment by, uh, by INEC in deciding to issue a certificate of return uh, to the PDP and also add that it was wrong for the Supreme Court to have avoided its candidate's participation in the election. Those are the grounds of uh, on the grounds on which the APC is approaching the Supreme Court uh, to, uh, today. Well, let me quickly say this. This some minutes ago, you told me that the APC has gone back to court. And that is why most of my comments, I have to be very circumspect because I won't, I won't want a situation where one may be, where whatever one may be saying may be subjudiced or may be trying to dwell in the matter. But what I would just like to do is just to bring the full principle of law, particularly when it comes to whatsoever thing you can come for review. And I think before saying that, I need to remind ourselves that care must be taken. Because politicians always have a way of, 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 of destroying whatsoever may be an institution. And that is what is about to happen. Because before, some, some, some years back, nobody thinks of, for to every Dick and Harry case, case, you must go to ask for review. Within, this, within the beginning of this year, from, month, from January to February, 
We've been in court in several ways. Even just today, nothing less than 24 cases has been, has, has been considered by the Court of Appeal. We have several cases in Supreme Court that have been going on that nobody thinks of review. But when it comes to politics, politicians always have a way of trying to destroy any institution. And this, I believe, we need not allow that. Now to that question. Well, well, uh, it is so clear Mr. that Ajula, for Mr. you Ajula, to ask for... When you, when you say this, for example, so you're talking about politicians generally because uh, what they say what is good for the goods could be good for the Ganda. Uh, if, for example, in Imo, the PDP is asking for a review, so why is it wrong for the APC to ask for a review of uh, the Supreme Court judgment in Bielsa? That is what I'm going, that's what I'm going to. Uh, we are not saying that review is not allowed. But what for you to ask for review, it has to satisfy the prerequisite, there is condition that must be that must be seen that you believe that this is basic precedent for ask for that review. And that's why I said part of it is what my colleague mentioned some minutes ago. Whether maybe there is an element of fraud, fraud, maybe there are, there are some things that the court is supposed to consider that as at that time of giving that judgment, it it, it was not before the court or it was not known to the court or whatsoever. But on this one. This is so clear. I just mentioned it some minutes, particularly the issue of Baeza. What the Supreme Court did is just to affirm and to, cons to affirm the position of the Federal, Federal High Court and to consider that two provisions of, the, of, of, of our law. One, by, from the Constitution, that's Section 187 and 188 that talks about qualification. And I'd like to know that it is joint ticket. If one of them is 40, everything will go down. The second one is on, the, right. on this Electoral Act as amended now, that's section 131, uh, subsection 5 and 6, that, that they explain that. And like that's why I said, if there's anything that needs to be reviewed in that judgment, what the Supreme Court, what needs to be reviewed is for the Supreme Court to All order right. that the party, APC, should pay 500,000 naira to INEC. All right, that, 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 may, that may be judgmental, that, but I mean, this. because uh, uh, w w the Supreme Court should make that call. We leave it to the Supreme Court to make. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming. Mr. Carol Deogilo and uh, Mr. An Anthony Ehilebo, both of them are lawyers, uh, talking to us from Abuja City. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. That's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Shawaki Malay. Bye for now.